Okay, I've got an 88 Honda Prelude. It's got the 2.0 SI fuel injected engine in it. And this power steering hose, which had um, had wrapped it years ago with a thermal tape, reflective stainless thermal, thermal tape, but it finally gave out. The car is 30 something years old. And I had to wrap it with uh, electrical tape to get it home, but it was still dripping on the exhaust, which was a fire hazard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the rubber portion of the power steering hose with steel. Basically, I've got a piece of steel line right here from AutoZone. Um, I'm gonna cut it and gonna put in some brass connectors, some unions, compression unions, 3 8 so I'm going to cut it possibly right here as close as I can and right here as close as I can and um, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to cut it with a hacksaw. I should probably get a cutoff wheel but I don't want to sling that power steering fluid everywhere and I can't get a uh, tubing cutter in there because it'll I can't spin it around. I could unbolt it right there, the hose, but I don't want to uh, deal with that end so I'm just gonna cut it the best I can with a hacksaw and deburr it. Okay I'm now I'm gonna do the other other side. It's gonna take a while. Ended up taking the hacksaw blade out of the hacksaw so I can get a good uh, stroke in here. This is working. Let me finish this up. I'll be right back. Let me show you the bad part of cutting it with a blade, with a hacksaw blade. See the end of that hose has got debris in there. So I'm going to use the end of this paintbrush, get in here, pull that debris out. And we don't want any of that getting in the rack and pinion. Okay, I've used a file to file it flat, and I used some scotch bright and some sandpaper and a flat file to uh, get it cleaned up. I'm going to file it a little bit more. Okay, I've get the, got this side all cleaned up, and I slid the, uh, the end of the compression union on, the ferrule on, and I've threaded this in. It looks like it's going to get a good bite. So now all we have to do is uh, put the other one on here and run the steel line between here. So let me start measuring. Okay, I'm going to cut the steel line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of play at the end so that way I can save that flared end piece. I can save it later and use it as a fitting if I need to. Anyway, let me get to cutting. Okay, I've got one end cut. See what I'm saying is I'm going to save that right there. Um, it fell apart. I'm gonna save this right here. I can use it as a fitting. I'm gonna save that right there. I'm gonna use it as a fitting later if I need to. Not on this project, but. Okay, here's the final product. I hate to mount it solid like that. I may try to replace it with a piece of braided rubber hose later. And that's the best I could bend it with a... I lost my bender. I don't know what I did with it. Bend it with a couple of wrenches. Let's see how it goes.
I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you. And remember, don't be destructive. Fix, repair, create. Make the world better.